Today we're making messes and mistakes, and we might even make some beer. Do we even uh, still remember how to do this? I don't think we ever do. It's been a while. We're getting back into it. Uh, excited to get a brew in. Other way. Other way. Yeah. First time, guys. Do we have marks? Nope. Keep going left. Dude, how do you like the new wall? It, lo it looks great, man. I'm, I'm real happy with it. It should look really nice. It only took Kyle three months to build it. What taps are next? We got the stir plate up. Made a yeast starter. Put that down in the record books. Yeah. Guess it's about time to talk about the beer. Okay. So I got this message. It's been some time ago. When was this? Oh, it was, it was a while ago. <laughs> let's, uh, let's tell the people how long May, ago. May 21st. Okay. What month is it? Last year. Well, well it's, it's May, uh, yeah. No, it's March. In March. So End of we're, March. Yeah, we're kind of up on here. Kyle's really not known for his punctuality. He literally drove around with expired tags for at least two years. So anyway, I got a message about a year ago from this guy in Norway. He says, hi, I harvested some yeast from an old farmhouse beer barrel. It's previously been used to brew Kvik beer, but has not been used for 80 years. How many years? 80. 80, not 80. Yeah, 80 years. If you are interested, I'll send you a sample. My response to that was, hell yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's that over there. That's a sample of his, his um, cultured yeast. Brew day checklist. Have your buddy from Norway send you some 80 year old yeast from their family farm. Everybody can do that. So anyway, uh, his name is Anund. Sorry dude, if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly. His brother inherited his grandfather's farm. And so this is a barrel that was located on this farm. They used to brew beer in this barrel. He just sliced off a chunk of wood, popped it in some nutrient, and made a starter. So we're gonna lightly hop it and we have just a pale ale grain bill we're using, so. Yeah, that's what we had on hand and yeah. kind of let the yeast be the main event for yeah. the beer, so. Sounds good. We're using the yellow balanced water profile for brewing water. dusty in here. So you get a bunch of malt dust in the air. At least we don't have to worry about a fire. Just particulate in the atmosphere. Oh we do don't we? Trapped. Blowing this place up? Right. For real. Highly combustible. Okay. Should I add some grain? Smell good, doesn't it? Talking to myself over here like a weirdo. No one will hang out with me. I miss the smell. Looks good to me. We're gonna do a 60 minute mash at 152. pandemic out there, my friend. This is all I have. Some people say you should drink a beer while you brew, but it's a work day. <laughs> Maybe towards the end of the day. So what are we doing? Mash is uh, done. Mash is done. So, so what do we do? I'm gonna kill the pump and then I'm gonna boost up to 100% of power while we remove the grains to speed up the brew day my time with this. Yeah. You know? Get that surface tension out. Yeah. Good things come to people who pull their grains out slowly. That's what my grandpa used to say. Dude, we're getting better at this. Maybe we won't spill anything today. Maybe this is just a glitch in the matrix. There is no matrix. I'm just gonna pop the hot basket in as a little spacer. And we'll continue to bring that up to a boil. We're getting close. What are we at? 194 and a half. So I should figure out that first hot mission. This is where all the magic happens right here. One ounce at 60 gets us 47 IBUs. That's what we're doing. 
doing? Sweet. Ooh, what's it looking like outside today? Uh, nice. It's actually beautiful. Here's our beautiful backyard. I don't actually go outside, I just look out there. We're doing a, what are we doing? 60 minute edition, Palisade. They're 14.7% alpha acids. We're gonna do the whole ounce. And I'm keeping it simple. Keeping it simple, and it's gonna be a little bit under 50 IBUs. And this is gonna be the only hop edition, so. Man, that's a nice color. It smells great. Oh yeah, look at that. It's kind of like a rust color. Yeah. We added our 15 minute Worthlock edition, and that just helps uh, coagulate the proteins. Just makes for a cleaner beer. We're only we're only about the cleanest beers here. Clarity, baby. Hey, while we're finishing up the boil, let's talk about our new favorite channel on YouTube, Maddie Matheson's Just a Dash. If you haven't watched this series, you're definitely missing out. I'm Maddie Matheson, and this is just a dash. How oh, my, 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 my. If anybody knows a Maddie Matheson. We want to hang out with Maddie Matheson. We want to get him over here and like make some sous vide something, make non-alcoholic beer. We just think Maddie Matheson seems like a cool dude. If anybody knows him and you're fans of our channel, you feel comfortable vouching for us, which it's a big ask right there. Holler at him, let us. Let us know if he's into it. Time to chill, bro. All right. Turn the heat off. Mm. Ah. Spicy. Well, boiling water side. Spicy one? Note to self. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna turn the pump on. So we're chilling pretty quick today. Oh, I should get a fermenter ready, huh? That is the wood bucket you're gonna wanna use. Good nice, enough. yep. Man, that feels nice and cool. What are we doing? Fermenting? What are you doing there? There was some. <laughs> there was some. All right, what am I doing? Opening the ball valve, turning on the pump. This is some, uh, this is some audio straight out of Adam Sandler's longest piece. Can we take a refractometer reading real quick? Sure. 10, I'm gonna go 10. 10, 49. 10, 50. 10, 50, it's like right between. Yeah, yeah, I'll call it 10, 50. Do you find that hard to see through? No? No. Can't do it. <gasps> 10, 50. It's happening, folks. It is happening. He says it's probably not Kvike yeast though. Okay. So he's not sure, he sent it off to maniacal yeast and they're like sequencing and isolating and doing all that stuff. They're not done with that yet. Okay. If they are, we'll put it in the video. Anand got back to us after our brew day and told us that the yeast he sent us is actually just a good strain of Saccharomyces and it isn't related to Kvike at all. We thought the yeast might be Kvike since the barrel it came from was used to brew Kvike beer 80 years ago. How many years? 80. 80, not 80. Yeah, 80 years. Nevertheless, it is a unique strain of Saccharomyces, which is super cool. If you want to see some Quebec yeast in action, check out the links in the description because we have used it a few times in the past. So we're just making a little makeshift blow off tube. If you just take a airlock and just put a hose right onto the, what do you call that, like the stem or? Yeah. Perfect, just leave it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Real excited about this fridge. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna work just fine. Very nice. Dude, that looks sweet. Yeah. We got our blue LEDs. Yeah. I've heard that helps with uh, fermentation. It gives you a lot of street cred with the dudes who drive like the lowered um, <laughs> the neon uh, geo geo metro. I don't know what they're riding. Ground effects. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I want some ground effects. Cool, did we put the yeast in? We did, okay. Yeah. So what are we doing? What are we doing? So what do we do? What am I doing? What are we doing? God, I can't do it. Just do 
know it! All right, let's fast forward 10 days and drink this. Three, two, one, go. It's not 10 days yet. I wish it was. Am I cool to pop it? Oh yeah, go for it, man. Oh, hello. I will say this, it's a little dark and cloudy. And huh. I just spummed the <laughs> out of my port. <laughs> Cheers. It tastes good. Yeah, this is my kind of beer right here. You know, a little bitter, pretty dry. Yeah, yeah man, looks like dirty soap and tastes good. I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah, it looks really bad. It looks very not good. Yeah, I mean it's kind of like dishwater brown. Yeah, I'm I'm get I'm I'm getting more of like a frosty. I pulled I pulled like an 80 year old water heater out of a fixer up her house and like drained the bottom half of it into a cup. And now I'm drinking it by like the air. Oh That's yeah, great. there you go. Looks great. Yeah, you just gotta drink it outside. Got to get direct sunlight. <laughs> and this is another one of those beers that, considering what it is, it just came from a little sliver of wood from an 80 year old barrel that had just been sitting on a farm. Right. Unintended for 80 years. Then it was mailed, mailed from Norway. I know we said we were done with the log, but it's like another, you know, wood um, yeah. based, harvested, discovered, random strain of yeast. These wild yeast experiments have been, been pretty fun, or not wild, but yeah, I guess this is wild, but just random yeast. Thanks to Anand uh, for shipping us this yeast. That was super cool. Yeah, man. Really, really cool. Make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, tell your uh, whoever you're trapped in your house with. <laughs>